Hi there! With this lecture, we start a new section which is called tuples. In this section, we will learn what is a tuple and how can we create it. And then we will learn tuples in memory and accessing an element of tuple and traversing and slicing a tuple and searching for an element in tuple, tuple operations and functions. Then we will look at differences between tuple and list. Then we will compare tuple with dictionary. Then finally, we will look at time and space complexity of tuple. Now in this lecture, we will start from the first point over here. So the first point is what's the tuple and how can we create it? Now let's get started. So what's the tuple? A tuple is a sequence of values much like a list. The values stored in tuple can be any type and they are indexed by integers. The important difference is that tuples are immutable which means that when we declare a tuple, we cannot change it. Tuples are also comparable and hashable. So we can sort list of them and use tuples as key values in Python dictionary. So what does hashable mean? An object is said to be hashable if it has a value that remains the same during its lifetime. We talked about hash function in the section of dictionaries. So from there, you can get more information about how hash function works. The syntax for creating a tuple is a comma separated list of values like this. Although it's not necessary, it's common to enclose tuples in parentheses to help us quickly identify tuples when we look at Python code. So it's very advisable to put parentheses at the beginning and at the end of tuple to identify it from the code that this is tuple. So let's see how this is working in practice. So as I mentioned, to create a tuple, we can just write list of values with comma separated. So here I will create new tuple, new tuple, like this. First value is A, the second value B, then C, D and E. So if you print out this tuple over here, we will see that it's created. So let's print out new tuple and save and run our code. So you see that our tuple is created. So as I mentioned before, we need to put parentheses over here to identify our tuples in the code very easily. So if I put parentheses and run our code, you will see that it's saved. And th this is how we are creating a tuple. So if you want to create a tuple with one element, we have to include the final comma. So if I want to create, for example, new tuple two, which will have only one element, the syntax should be like this. A and after first element, we need to put comma over here. So if I don't put a comma over here, Python treats this expression over here as a string in parentheses. So we have to include this comma over here. So let me just print out this tuple over here to see the difference. If I run our code now, you see that this tuple is printed out here. If I just remove the comma from here, this time it's not going to be tuple. So you see that this is a string and printed out here. So when we create a single element tuple, we have to put comma over here. Be careful about this. Another way of creating a tuple is built-in tuple function. So here we can create new tuple function. Let me delete everything from here. We can use tuple function. If I just save and run our code, you see that an empty tuple is created over here. So we are using tuple function like this when we want to create an empty tuple. But if we want to put elements inside this function, you, you will see that the result of this function over here will be a tuple with the elements of sequence. For example, if I put string over here, for example, A, B, C, D, E, and save and run our code, you see that each character over here will be a separate element in the tuple. So you see that this is created like this. This is treating each character here as a separate element. Because the tuple is the name of constructor, we always have to avoid using it as a variable name because in this case, it might cause confusion. Now the time complexity for creating a tuple is O1 because here we are defining all elements up front. 
So this is a very efficient way of creating a collection. And the space complexity for creating a tuple is OM because this depends on the number of elements of the tuple. So if we have n elements in the tuple, the space complexity will be OM. So this is all for this lecture. In this lecture, we have learned what's a tuple and we have learned how can we create tuple using various ways. Now in the next lecture, we will look at how we can access an element of tuple and how tuples are located in the memory. See you there.